Welcome back, Music Mondays here on A Cup of Joe brought to you by the folks at the National Gas Company. We want to thank the folks at the NGC for making it possible. And you know in football, they say they want Russell Atopy and 10 men. I think at this stage in our country's life, we need my next guest, the guy you heard at the top of the show, and another army like him because the music that he has contributed to this Tuna Island Republic over the last few years that he's been involved in TNT Reggae has been really amazing and it's such a pleasure for me to have him here this morning on the show and that song he sang at the top I think should open every radio station across the island every single day it just gives us that sense of national pride. Ladies and gentlemen, with me this morning, you heard him at the top. His name, Winston Young. He goes by I, Sasha. My brother. <laughs> Thank you very much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. I, I really feel, I mean, I heard the song at the top and it really raised my pause. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, that song, how long ago that song was released? Um, like about two years now, about two years. Two, two years. Yeah. Uh, there's a video for the song as well yeah, we that we're going we to we drop in a, in, in a while. Um, You've been known, I, Sasha. Uh, let's start on the positive note because you, 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 you've been known for positive vibrations. Mm -hmm. that, that is just who you are because when you think reggae music, I mean, you can go either way with reggae music. Yeah. You've been known for positive vibrations. Um, I try to keep my music more positive. I mean, like for the carnival time, I try to just put in a contribution for the carnival, but at the end of the day, I just try to stay more positive with the music because at the end of the day, we're trying to deal with the youths, you know? Mm -hmm. And the mind's a little feeble, so you have to get them to be more positive in it. Yeah. You, you, you've, you've, because I mean, hearing some of the music as well, there's is, is a little love, reggae, reggae, yeah. reggae yeah. leans to that as yeah. well. But that was an intentional, that was intentional on your part to decide that you are going, when you came on and you decided to do reggae music, mm -hmm. you wanted to be positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always wanted to be positive. Always, always. Yeah. No, 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 no bad boy thing. Um, no, nah, not really. I mean, probably you know certain rhythms might make you want to sing something different. But at the end of the day, I try to always have a message in my music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For those of you who may not be aware, um, when when I mean listening to Isasha music over the years, but when the last election bells were rung. <laughs> I can't help, let, me, let me get it out of the way yeah, for have, the political, yeah, yeah. let me get it out of the way, right? Um, if you did not want to vote in that last election, I think you did not have a choice but to vote because that song, I think, was the deciding factor in the election. That's right. <laughs> that song, I mean, you, you were totally responsible for that song? Written, yeah. yeah. Um, it was a team effort song, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and as I say, I never regret, I never regret doing it um, because I come and gain New fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah come yeah, and gain yeah. some older fans, you know. People who may not have known the name yes, Isasha yes, would have known yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah, some yeah, old yeah. people just walking up to me and like, oh God, yeah. son, you're blessed. Yes. God bless you. Yeah, God, who, yes. The voting yes. PNM till the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, so, grandma. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it was yeah, nice. It was fantastic. Um, and it showed your versatility because yes. I said you, you, you performed across the country with yes, the song and really the trade yes, versatility. Yeah. I Sasha, um, real name Winston Young. Mm -hmm. I Sasha, give me the name. Where, where did the name come from? Who, who is I Sasha? Um, the name really come from a good friend of mine, which is um, Nigel Waldron. Um, because me and my, my next partner used to be singing plenty. Home by him, just recording stuff, just recording stuff. We ain't going nowhere to sing. We just home, just recording stuff. Mm. And every day he just coming and hearing us singing, and he said, "Boy, all that we singing, and all that don't have no name." So I said, "Well, get a name for it." And a day he just walk in the house, and he said, "Yo, you know what? I have a name for it." He said, "I Sasha Emmanuel," and the name just stick. Yeah, just stick. So I just always big up Nigel <laughs> Walter. <laughs> yeah, boy. So when you, when you heard it, it resonated with you, right? I mean, yeah, it? just like. It like was like, you know, like, um, yeah, but like they money all the time, <laughs> you know, because it didn't feel no way now, yeah, you know, I didn't yeah, even yeah. say like, nah, I ain't like that name or nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, I was yeah. just like, yeah, boy, mm. you come good in yeah, <laughs> yeah. So take us back to those days. I mean, yourself, it was, it was, it was a group of you guys singing reggae yeah. music. Well, I really start off with my little brother, Emmanuel, mm -hmm. 
just doing more corner vibes, singing on corners. You know, we might get a little competition coming up. We mm. might go in that because mm. we love them thing. We did love competition, so we used to run down them little vibes until we end up on the party time. Mm -hmm. You know, and which we did so good in party time that we tell ourselves, nah, boy, this thing is so we. So I push my music more and more. I mean, Emmanuel still singing, but he ain't really boost, he ain't boss as yet, mm -hmm. like how I boss. But mm -hmm. um, I push my music and keep pushing it and pushing it. And well, my brother, Million Voice, everybody's supposed to know Million Voice. Right. Um, real brother. That's my real blood brother. Real blood yeah, brother. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. my big brother. He's a baby in the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he decided, well, you know what? You sing and I sing in too, but he always used to sing, you know? So my mom was like, all his brothers, well, they don't sing together. Mm. And I said, you know what, that makes sense. So let me just fuse it and sing together. And there we come with I Know Ja. That song show everybody, well, yeah, boy, these men and them are really good, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was from there, the music just started to evolve. I started to take it more serious, mm -hmm, started mm -hmm. to travel. You know, start to get a recognition outside. People start to respect you. It become the household name, mm -hmm. you know. And up to this point here right now, with the P and M thing and everything, you know, it was just <laughs> that ticket. Yes, yeah, that yeah, ticket, just, uh, yeah, just tick that, that next do next more level. Favor. I don't want, I don't want to run out of time, but I want you to because as I said, we're mm -hmm. the land of mm -hmm. Soka and Calypso. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, for me, describe in your mind what is Trinidad and Tobago's reggae because we have the, yourself uh mr king there, there are a couple guys like i mean i just like to hear they're, yeah, they're, you know yeah. and describe what is trying to be goes reggae for me well in your mind Trinidad and Tobago reggae is reggae i mean we just have a different song because of we 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 how we all speak mm -hmm. you know to the jamaicans and 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 to the to the rest of the world out there but we deliver the same way as a, as a Jamaican artist, as any artist out there. We deliver and we have good music as any other them are, are artists out there in Jamaica or in the world. So to me, Trinidad Reggae is something we positive and we the country need right now because, I mean, they tend to just cling back to the positive music only when things going bad in the country mm -hmm. and which, mm -hmm. which we as artists, we just feel used, mm. you know, because how only when things going bad all day, hey, David, I want David and do nothing, no, how Sasha do nothing, we man and Sasha, we melody, boy, you know, and we never stop singing. We always keep recording, every artist I call, keep recording, keep doing their stuff. So, to me, in a nutshell, Trinidad Reggae is one of the best music it have right now in the country. I mean, I have nothing against Soka, I love Soka, that is our thing at the end of the day, but I believe we need more reggae and more positive music in the country right now, the way all the crime we need to win. So quickly, um, there's a new song out, uh, and it's already uh, it's circulating on the radio stations. Talk the truth. Talk the truth. Um, I, I wanted to just, two in one, because you were the victim of, yes, of, yes, of a little yes, crime yes, incident. Yes, yes, um, yes. It, was, it was in your vicinity, in your yeah, area of Lockheed. Yeah, yeah. Well, even not Lockheed, but Greenville. Okay. That's the back of Lockheed and New Housing Scheme. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the song that we will hear, you got to stay with us to the end uh, because he is going to drop the song for you live here on A Cup of Joe. Um, did the song come based on the incident? Because I heard the lyrics in the song. And, and did the song come based on the incident? Did you write that song before the... How did it all happen? Um, it so happened, the song was really written like two, three weeks before the whole incident. So before the incident? Before the incident. And it's like... When the, when the incident happened, the team was like, the management team was like, you know what, let me run with this, this going on work here because at the end of the day now, that song where you're going to release, we were supposed to release this song the Friday and the incident happened the Tuesday. Are you serious? I swear. And we done plan was to release this song the Friday, everything. Actually, when, we was, when the incident happened, we was home, vibes and up on the song. Serious. So, you know. Tell Trinidad Tobago quickly, I mean, in a nutshell, what the song, because I, I hear the lyrics, I mean, um, for those who would not have heard the song yet. In a nutshell, a nutshell, the yeah. song is the truth. Talk the truth. The song is the truth. There's things where people might know where to say or people mm -hmm. might free to say. I'm not free to say it. I will talk the truth because at the end of the day, the people need to hear the truth. Yeah. You know, so in a nutshell, is the truth. 
Yeah. Album releasing soon as well, I understand. Yes, yes. In, a day in, to be announced in me. Um, I have like three tracks to release out of the album. Right. Three new tracks. Three new tracks. Yeah, and this music. is the first one here, the truth. Yeah. Hey, Sasha. Yeah, thank, so so thank you so much. Thank you so much for being thanks, here. Thanks for having me. Stay with us. We are going to give you a glimpse of uh, the song you heard at the top. Uh, the name of that one is Red, White, and Black. Red, White, Black. and Black. Yeah. Red, White, and Black. There's a beautiful music video that you're going to see now. And then when we come back from this short break, I, Sasha, will perform one of my favorites, Don't You Know? <laughs> Don't You Know? And then say to the end for his brand new track, he will close the show with his brand new track called Talk the truth. Uh, this is Music Monday. It's here on a couple of jaw. Featured Music Monday artist is the man they call I, Sasha. Come on. <laughs> 